our first edition of Coffee with the Queer Bat. Yeah. We're going to show a full build here. 1960 Queer Bat, uh, Roadster Shop frame. It's going to be amazing. The suspension, uh, we're going to LS power this thing. Full resto mod. Stick with us, we're going to show you the whole thing. Fifteen point two gallon tank. Sixteen gallon tank is about is, good, right? Yeah. And we're gonna pick up in the little pocket down there. Down there. Uh, we're gonna have a gallon. one gallon reserve. I find that to be acceptable. So we're deleting that pocket over there, right? Yeah, because there's no reason for it to be there. There would never be any access. straight across. Yeah, a 16 gallon tank will definitely work. Uh, and then that would leave us uh, with our elevation here. Uh, off the deck. Yeah, we'll be under the deck. So then our elevation here would be three and a half inches. Create some kind of a firewall in between that. We have three and a half inches to uh, we can have a fuse box, computer, and that will allow a great deal of space. Mm -hmm. Now, the trunk is the last thing. <coughs> That's the last thing. I think we pretty much have our blueprint here. So a quick little mock-up yesterday. I think, I don't know. I think we need to, uh, nobody needs a spare tire anymore. These wheels blown, it's gonna be a wasted space. If anything ever happens to this beauty, uh, we call them flatbeds. <laughs> You're not changing a tire on the side of the road, so I say we make that usable space. 
I definitely like the idea of dropping a battery yeah, underneath, yeah, but yeah. having our terminal access right here be a little dropping plate. We can have an on off switch there, and our two terminals batteries completely hidden up underneath. And this is the luggage area. Is that what a trunk was supposed to be? Yeah. Your picnic basket when you take your girlfriend out and your four hundred thousand dollar bed. Ooh. Yeah, uh, that's the last thing we got to kind of figure out, and then uh, we're ready to rock and roll. Need to rebond a couple areas on the trunk, and. Uh, do something to smooth it out and make it gorgeous. So 15, a 15.2 gallon with a one gallon reserve. Yeah, so I find that to be acceptable. Gallons. Without killing that whole back area. Because uh, we put fuel back there, you could, we could never use this for long injury. That's a perfect spot for fuel. Got to maximize small places. We got to finalize that cardboard. Uh, yeah, well, we'll cut, cut out the one side and then we the just cut it out, figure out where you want. And then I figure once the tank's made, do a 3 16th inch of uh, aluminum. We'll take it together. Uh, you can actually set it in insulation mm -hmm. in foam. I don't want at least two baffles inside the tank, so just because. Just because. You don't want to have any any splash coming back and forth when everything's <laughs> got to be right. Everything's got to be right. All right, I want to check her out one more time here, and uh, I think we're going down. I think we're. Going down. We're gonna have to have it exactly like that. Only difference is just you want to delete that one pocket because that would just there would never be any. Yeah, well, you don't want the tank to be like smooth. Mm. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah, now, But no big deal. So then get some relocation. I didn't I didn't wasn't a big fan of having no. the, uh, the, the few clocks oh, yeah. and all that. Yeah, we'll just But I mean maybe a fucking put the top in and see uh what it looks like. Yeah, we have to lay the top in. Because there is some space back here. I mean there's yeah. something that you don't have to get down in a fuck in a you know, nice suit to uh, climb under the dash. If you want to replace the few. Who's wearing a nice suit? You driving this, you're a badass. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you have all the money, you're not wearing a suit to drive this.
That's exactly what we have for sound system too. Probably but not a whole lot. Your area here. Yeah, so let me see what tough. we did. Yeah, that gives us quite a nice space. Yeah, that gives us a really nice space for sound system. Seven inches, six inches? Yeah, I think uh, we could comfortably have a six inch box and uh, we wouldn't have any chat or. Yeah, that's going to leave a, a good half inch. And wow, I mean, if you really wrap the system right behind the seat, uh, get a little something, something in the dashboard in front. And yeah, you could do something. And really not touch the beautiful look of the bed. Really That's one of the worst things with these cars. The really single speaker. Incorporate that nice curvy body because it's nice. You can see nice custom. You're not going to see any of it. Box. You're not going to see any of it because this, the seats will cover it all. But the sound will have, we'll be able to create amazing sound right behind the seat. So you want to hold back and just build a little box out of wood and throw it back there? Or a nice, beautiful... Yeah, we're going to make it out of fiberglass. Molded fiberglass box that yeah. has the curves of a Corvette. Yeah, we'll custom make it. No, well, not only to grab the curves of the Corvette, I mean, I think that just the way the seat pockets in... Is going to be great for acoustics if we use the speakers correct. And I mean, we don't have much to work with because we have to stay within these parameters, and that's just what we'll do. Anywho, uh, I think it's time to get to work. So that was coffee with the Corvette. 